we look at something like the Christchurch mosque shootings, mm. that Wikipedia, a Wikipedia article on those shootings appeared about an hour and a half after the first news reports. And it's been, last time I checked, it had been worked on by about 650 different wow. editors. It's about 5,000 words long now, with about 300 references. And it's been furiously improved and worked on. But from uh, the first day or so of the coverage of that event, that was actually the most reliable source because it triangulated and brought together multiple different media and tried to only bring in stuff that was verified by a couple of different media sources. So so one news reported X, um, yeah. three news reported Y, yeah, yeah, news yeah. source would be reported Z, and then some volunteer tried went, to put well, it together there, and yeah. we'll put it here. Yeah. That's that's a really interesting, insightful yeah. thought. So, 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 so actually on the day of, yeah. it, on the day of that, it was terrorist growing, attack. growing furiously, and that was actually a. And the news media know this. They know that if there's a big happening current event or a natural disaster, then the Wikipedia article is actually not a bad place to look. So you can see it's pretty substantial. That's ginormous. Yeah, I know. And how uh, many? Look at that. It's got two hundred plus. Three, about three hundred odd references last wow. time I looked. I know. So it's pretty well sourced from publicly available sources of knowledge. And in the behind the scenes, there were massive fights going on about what should and shouldn't be included. So everything was thoroughly thrashed out. Like, should there be a, a still from the, the shooter's footage there? And they said, no, absolutely not. First of all, it's not copyright. They don't have the copyright. Um, secondly, they tried to say, should, we have, should the shooter have his own Wikipedia article? And he said, no way, man. Um, so there was a lot of real passionate debate going on was you got some of these free speech people so a question about that then is the is the person's name even mentioned the yeah, shooter it's mentioned yep absolutely okay. because it's mentioned in lots of media not okay. not in new zealand but overseas oh yeah uh, but, he does, but he doesn't have his own wikipedia article and i would be resistant to that because so if someone came along to make a wikipedia article for him i think it would be probably rejected because there are clear guidelines on this if someone's only famous because of one crime that they did they don't get a Wikipedia article. Right. They get mentioned as a paragraph in the write-up of that. And that's crime. when sometimes you see in Wikipedia you Google a name or Google yeah. your Wikipedia search a name, yeah. and it doesn't go to their page, but it goes to an yeah, article about exactly. them. So I did one. I, I I watched documentary last night about uh, this weird goings on in America. Gypsy, someone. Like, it's a girl who's yeah. who uh, uh, Munchausen by proxy. Her mother and then oh, yeah. her and her yeah. boyfriend killed her. And I I googled one of the names and it came to an article. Yeah, it didn't come to her page. It yeah. came to an article about the crime. Exactly. So that's the general rule with Wikipedia is they're trying not. They don't want to create this amazing you know immortalize this person as a special person in history because this is just some nobody who happened to do a terrible thing. The event is more important. What I've been doing in the role of Wikipedia and post that event is I've put out a call for public to donate photos of the aftermath, the follow-up of the shootings. And we started off with there were four, now we've got about 150, I think. And they're their own they're, photos, they're aren't they? Their own photos, their own photos, because so they own the copyright for them. Yeah. And I've encouraged them to donate them, sign them over to Commons under an open license. Yeah. We have photographs of the vigils and the floral tributes and the street graffiti and the signs and... Christchurch City Council um, said, yeah, sure, you can use that photo of Jacinda Ardern and the hijab. Yeah. And so, and I'd like other media to consider that as well. So that's actually a, that's a pretty big job for you because I was thinking, so I, I went to the Dunedin Mosque and took a photo of the flowers and put it on my Instagram. That's oh, the kind cool. of thing that you could... You could donate that photo to Commons right. as well. And so eventually what we'd like to see is the Wikipedia article will have a gallery of all the different floral tributes at different places. It'll have a gallery of street art and graffiti reacting re to the attack have a gallery of public appearances of politicians and follow up to it. And those are the images that start to define the event because those are the things that then go into the permanent record and get pre reproduced. Is, oh, this, is, this, is this sort of like a Wikipedia version of Creative Commons basically? Out of the exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Creative Commons licenses are what you use for Wikipedia. I was about to ask, is it the objective of? But I think what would be a better way to say it is, do you think eventually Wikipedia will become the biggest source of news because mm -hmm. I hear you saying that about the the, the mosque shooting yeah, will, yeah, will there yeah. be a Wikipedia page about the final of the Rugby World Cup coming up that'll be up 20 minutes after that Rugby World Cup finishes and it'll be ahead of all the news sources well you should probably look up Rugby World Cup in Wikipedia because I don't follow the sports pages at all but yeah I'd say there would be like so that, what about so real time in, in the real, real time in real time though I would probably rely on those news reporters but um, and there'll be there'll be one for each year of the Rugby World Cup. There should be one for the 2019. So, you know. Um, well, do you think that will turn into the biggest source of news, Wikipedia? Yeah, well, so here we go. 2019 Rugby World Cup. There it is. 
Now, the real-time results are always going to be sh- broken first by the actual media. Yep. But if you're looking in uh, two weeks later, that's disappeared from the news pages. Yep. But the Wikipedia article is going to have all of that stuff summarized, and that becomes then the long-term record. So it's a synergy. You know, you have the media cover everything immediately happening now. They're there on the spot. Wikipedia picks up the pieces, puts it together, and makes the long-term it's, it's reference. It's almost like a manual RSS feed. It's bringing everything yeah, together, yeah. and it's going, here it is. Here, you've seen the true, information true, from all different true. outlets. Yeah. Here it is all combined for you. Yeah. So that I weigh, that I think is the, the Wikipedia is the long-term, the media is the short-term. They both rely on each other. Because the journos, in a year's time, when they're trying to write, remember what happened in the Rugby World Cup, they're going to be going to Wikipedia and using that and relying on it as a source. And it will be pretty reliable because it relied on their reporting from the year before. 